Shalom, shalom, Israel. This is Leah Yehuda Israel, your little big sister, believed to be from the tribe of Judah, Yehuda, giving our praises, giving our glory and honor to the Most High Yah. Yah is the creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all in them is the Most High Yah created. Um, shalom, Israel. This is Leah, your little big sister. Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to speak on some things that's real. Um, that's bothering me, um, what's going on with the nation of Israel, our daughters, what's going on out there. I, I just wanted to speak on some things that's real. But before I speak on that, may I share my testimony, please, real quick? I want to talk about what's real, you know, and I know some of y'all don't use curse words. You all holy and this and that there. When these curse words, you you know, you get offended by these words and stuff. But I can't say that I'm not going to slip a curse word up in there, here or there. I just can't say that. But before I do, I do want to share this testimony. <clears throat> so, so today, I was excited about going to get my massage. Because my body is really in a lot of chronic pain. It's like I have a lot of burdens I can, I've come all the way from Miami, Florida, all the way living in like Miami. I lived in Lakeland. We lived in Sarasota, uh, a couple of little more cities I can't think of. And then we went out at St. Pete. Then the, the creator did this. We didn't pay for a ticket when we left. Ended up in Virginia. We lived in Norfolk, Virginia. I lived in Williamsburg. I lived in Jamestown. Um, the Most High would send us on a plantation to live. Um, my spirit was really vexed when I was in Virginia. I could feel my ancestors and my father's and mother's spirits running through those woods. And I was like, hell no. I wouldn't live in Virginia if they gave me a house. So uh, Jamestown, I was right over there by that water, man. The shelter was like down the street, right on the big old plantation. I put some pictures up before. So I lived in Williamsburg, Jamestown, Norfolk, Smithfield. Wilson, they kicked us out in the snow in Wilson. I'm over there telling the sisters that JC ain't real and it's the most high. We all living in this house in Wilson, North Carolina. And they walking around talking about, ooh, L-O-R-D, ooh, J-E-S-U-S, ooh, all around me like a bunch of demons when I look back on it. But right then when I was going through it, you know, it didn't phase me. It didn't even bother me. But what got me was they put me out, yo, over some bull crap. I was taking a picture of myself, whatever. And they put us out. They put us out in the snow, 40-some degrees weather. Hebrew Israelite, black women like me, supposed to be my sisters. Nobody gave us a hand. Nobody helped. But that's all right, because the Most High was sending Ram in the bush. He sent a sister that came through there, not even 24 hours, and she was put out, huh, her one child. And I praised the Most High man. That sister hit it off in the kitchen. I told her all about the Creator, this and that. She's a Christian. We talked about our spirits. We, you know, we was good. So she went back home. They didn't let her stay at the shelter. So then when I got kicked out, like, the next day, because I was, like, I was telling the sisters at the shelter, oh, I wonder who's going to get kicked out next. And it was me. I had already spoken and felt it and seen it, I guess. So they put us out, my daughter and I, in the snow. Black women. They didn't even grab a hand and help us take anything to the truck when we called for a ride. Y'all so wicked. Y'all some wicked-ass sisters. Y'all wicked. So, yeah, so they kicked us out of the shelter. Because I was over there telling them all about the most high. So I was the most hated in the shelter up in Wilson, North Carolina. Yeah, so I've come through many, many, many hurdles and fires um, sharing his truth with the most high. Okay? About the most high telling you to wake up. That it's time for you to return to your creator. Um, the most high Yah, his law, statutes, and commandments before he destroy you. Yeah, so then I came from, came up out of um, Virginia the creator, and then he moved us two weeks before Hurricane Irma came. I turned on the news, and there go Hurricane Irma coming up Key West through Miami. I had left Miami, took my journey on up. See what I'm saying? The most high is real. You better, I, I can hear. I hear. I hear. I hear. I don't like to be around all that mess and all that in my ear. I don't like to be bothered with foolishness and fuckery, because I can hear, and I'm trying to hear. I'm trying to go home and rest. Come out of Virginia. My whole family, I'm up in Virginia, everybody in Florida, down there, Hurricane Irma. Me and my daughter, we didn't get our toe wet. That's how good the most high is, a baby toe. We didn't even get touched in the rain. We up there in Virginia, cut on the news, here come Hurricane Irma. 
So we go Norfolk, then we lived in Jamestown, we lived in Williamsburg, we lived in Smithfield. I went all through these places delivering a message or leaving a, a code for the Israelites. Saying that it's time to return back to the Most High. Then I headed on down there to North Carolina. Riley. I like Riley. Man, matter of fact, Riley is the beginning of this here when I'm talking about come out of Virginia. Oh, Wilson, North Carolina. Yeah, after Virginia, we went to Wilson, North Carolina. Stayed in Riley at the hotel for like two months. Latanya. Y'all was so good to us. He blessed us to stay there. Didn't pay nothing. Olivia went to school from there. Then we went on to Smithfield. And we went over to that other place, Lafayette or wherever. What's his name? The rapper is from. Stayed over there. Then went over and over to Wilson. Got kicked out in the snow with my daughter. Man, I know I've been all of these places. Because I heard my creator tell me to go. And when he said go, because I asked him to destroy I asked him to kill my husband at the time. My husband was so wicked to me down in Miami. I'm washing dishes. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, will you kill him? And this is what I heard. You go. I said, but yeah, you just gave me my new apartment, my new dishes, my new bed. And I heard it again. You go. And I will provide a way for you and Olivia to walk out the front door. That was the end of the conversation. Because I already knew it was going to happen. One day in my life, I heard a couple of things. So everything fit together. So when my husband was knocked out from that hospital visit, the most I sent them to that night, babe, put the pizza in the oven. Okay, babe, taking the daughter, girl, baby girl to school. He all drowsy and this and that there. I put my beds out the front door. I got on 95 South, headed down 95 North to, from, from Miami to Fort, uh, from Miami through Fort Lauderdale down to West Palm Beach. Yeah, my daughter was seven at the time. Yeah, that's how long this journey be. been. So I'm just saying this. I'm not even going to tell you the whole story, but I'm just saying I've been a lot of places saying the same thing. And I'm saying to you now, the creator is nigh and it's time to wake up, Jacob. And it's time to return to yourself and return to these law, statutes, and commandments. But before I say that, let me finish the story about tonight and what's why I'm on this spirit like I am right now. Because the Most High just showed me. The Most High just showed me something. Yeah, he, he literally, he just really just showed me. Yeah, the Most High. That's why y'all being proud of, proudful, prideful, and happy over that little idol. You worshiping of the New Testament. You should be ashamed of yourself because I'm ashamed of myself right now. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, Israel. Let me tell you why your little big sister is... Ashamed of herself right now. Let me tell you why I am so ashamed. Right? This don't even make no sense. I wanted to get a massage so bad. I wanted to get a massage, a rub down so bad. Let me tell you. I just want to be real. It ain't no time for no lies and games and bull crap. I just want to be real. Let's just be real with ourselves and be real. When I tell you my story and how I woke up, I'm just going to be real with my story. I don't give a damn who don't like it and who don't like me. I don't give a damn. And the most I let me see that today, who you, you did to please, them or me. So that's why, he's, that's why I'm saying what I'm hearing from the most high is be free. Be yourself. Do you. Do it. You know why you was born. You know why you were, you know your living wasn't in vain. Tell your story. Tell them to wake up. Tell them I'm on the way and when I come, I ain't talking to nobody. Ain't going to be no more pleading. Please, please, please. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, oh, ain't going to be none of that. Because Ezekiel 9, when he come, he going to slay utterly like he doing right now. It's going to be worse. Little children, old men, young women. Y'all is not playing. Y'all is to be feared. And let me tell you how so. What happened to me? Why y'all so prideful of that New Testament Christ? Let me tell you just what happened to me. The Most High just showed me this about 20 minutes ago. Because I just got in the house about an hour. Now, check. listen to this, Israel. Listen, I don't just want to be real. Mm. Thank you, y'all. So, y'all seen I put on the post, I was so happy about my massage. My body is so sore, yo. My back and everything is so tight. Everything, my muscles, my deep tissues is chronic. Oh, I need to, I know I need to, I need to stretch. It's my fault too, but the pain, I'm just saying it's like burdens, like on my shoulders and it's like I'm worried about my parents, my children. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this, yeah. I don't want to do this, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
my parents, my children down in Florida, was my husband, everybody I was worried about. You, Israel, my nation. Yeah. So my body hurt. And I know I need to take time out of exercise more, I know. But I catch the bus, I walk around, I catch the bus, I'm moving. But the burdens, y'all please take these burdens off of me, y'all. We got them on us, y'all servants. We don't sleep good. We think about you all. We don't. Th- we don't sleep good. You got. We. We always putting out posts. You got Sister Latanya. You got Elder Ezra. Sister Ada. Aki Kazia. Everybody. These servants of y'all. They putting out these posts. DC. Eight. DC out of Brooklyn. The channel. Shamal. Everybody. You got the servants of y'all here trying to tell you to wake up, Israel. Wake up, the Most High is near and the Most High love you. Just cover up and stop worshiping the idol God. Because listen, so I'm saying, yo, I'm going to get this massage, this deep tissue massage, my body aching. And I'm so happy, yeah, I'm going to get my massage, yeah. I posted it on Facebook, yeah, I'm going to get my massage. I get up there to get my massage. And that lady said, we don't do massages here. I said, what? But it say, she said, no, that's at the other store or the other and she said, I called, she called, and she said, they said they don't do that. They take, they don't have nobody there for that. I said to that lady, that sister, I said, sister, is that a bar over there? <laughs> I said, I came all the way over here, and I was so happy. I'm finna get me a full body deep tissue massage with them big rocks on my back, hot. I was so happy. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't thinking about the most high. I'm not going to lie. I was just thinking about relieving the stress and pressure, the pain. It hurt. I'm telling you the truth. So I'm just being real. I'm not perfect. I know I ain't perfect. I'm a big old mess. But I'm a lover for the most high. Okay? I got my fuck ups. Yeah. But I love my creator. I fear my creator. And that's what something that most of y'all don't do. But it's a remnant of us who fear the most high. And we love him with all of our heart, soul, and might. And we fight for Yah, which is to stand up for truth and righteousness, whether you take hold or not. That's what we're going to do. We ain't going no other way. We ain't going no other way. So I went over there. And I got me two drinks. I had one drink and I had to have another. I can't lie. I had two sex on the beaches. And no, this isn't about sex, sisters. I have been celibate for three years, six months. Praise the mighty Yah, who teaches a woman how to live a holy life and how to be righteous. And I li- I've lived with bro- my brethren upon my journey. One came and picked me up, big brother Matt. I now met him. That's my brother on Facebook. Lee, I always wanted to see you. You, you right there. I'm in Wilson. You and you and I'm coming to get you. You in Fayetteville? Yeah. Bro- my big brother Matt, and we met, and that's the first time we met. Matt on Facebook. Matt came and picked me and my daughter up, took us to his house, had me a nice bud waiting on me. Yes, he played his reggae, and I was in that tour studying. And, and my brother took us right on to the show to the next day. So all praises and glory to the Most High, who teaches a woman how not to be a whore, it teaches a woman how to live amongst her brethren. That's what this holy Torah and this word teaches you, how not to be a whore. Nobody don't want no whores in their life now. We trying to go home and have rest for our soul. Y'all got to be crazy out there showing all y'all ass and skin like it's cute. That shit is not cute. You look real retarded and sick. You look like you under a curse. The curse of Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. Oh, I could just read some of that for you right now. Let me just tell you right now. But before I do that, I'm going to get to that even if this is another video. But the most I showed me and he beat me. This is what happened and why I was feeling like I'm feeling. Because I just knew I was going to get my Swedish deep tissue massage with those rocks on it and hot on my back and all over my body. With all my clothes off with a little towel and get my rub down on. Mm. But the most I showed me at the same time. He just showed me this. Because then after I tried to leave, I couldn't even leave. My car was acting up. I was so embarrassed. It's like $125. Because it took, some, took my daughter and her little, little sister, uh, daughter, sister with, with, her, with us. 
our neighbor down the street, that's her little girlfriend, her, not girlfriend, excuse me, I take that heathenistic word back. That's her sister in Yah, her Hebrew sister in Yah. Get it right, Leah. See how correction makes you strong and feel good. You don't want to use those words that other nations use them. So, yeah, so. So, we, I had $125. I had the money on my car, but I went to pay. It wouldn't even work. The car wouldn't even work. Man, I guess I had been hitting the wrong pen and stuff all day, but the car locked up. It said they the and then I called to talk to the people. They say they out of service for 30 minutes. Man, I was so frustrated. And I had two drinks. I was feeling good, got my feet, I got me a good pedicure. Praise the mighty y'all. Thank you, y'all. But when I got ready to leave and the most high showed me because I was upset about that that deep tissue massage that I posted all on Facebook and I'm all, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get me my deep tissue massage. I'm gonna get butt naked and get them hands all fingers all down to my tissues and I'm gonna walk out there feeling all relieved. Woo woo. I've been waiting for this like forever, it seemed. The most high showed me, uh uh. But I had to wait for that about an hour after it was time to go. Embarrassed. Car wouldn't work. The 800 number didn't work. I had to call my son. His thing didn't work and then he had to work on it, but he made it come through. Praise the mighty eye. So I sent you to send him that back, Josh. I pray, praise y'all for you, son. You so sweet and holy. You just keep walking with the mighty y'all. All All y'all sons of y'all that's walking with y'all. Keep on. Mama appreciate that because I was so embarrassed. But y'all beat me like that. You know what y'all showed me? Touch not my anointed. He don't want no heathen's hands all over me. The most high just showed me this. He don't want no heathen's rubbing their hands all over me. His anointed. His anointed been celibate for three years, almost six months. Why would he want some filthy ass heathens touching all over me? And I'm so real, yo. And I've been up here weeping. I had to get on my knees and ask the most how to forgive me for being so arrogant and thinking this this body is my but this body ain't my body. This body is belong to the most high. This is his body. This is his vessel. So whether you use for good or bad, you belong to the most high. Y'all might as well turn on around and get this thing right or you're going to get destroyed. I'm here to tell you because I got a lot of stories of destruction just by telling the truth to somebody. And that's just the most high's judgment. So please don't talk back. Don't talk against the mighty y'all. You ain't talking against me. Like I told him down in Florida, <laughs> I ain't write the Torah and I didn't write the Tanakh. This is the most high's holy word. I just happen to love it and I'm just happen to learn it. I'm learning how to live a righteous life like I should have been living all my life and all of those wicked things wouldn't have never happened to me. And I'm not blaming anybody but myself. But I love y'all. We love y'all. This ain't hate speech. I hope this thing keep on going so I can read you a scripture. Hmm. Sick of it. But I share my testimony on one of these videos. I got a testimony to tell how I came all the way down with the Most High from Miami, Florida, all the way up to Cincinnati. That's why I ain't even with that foolishness, yo. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone so I can study my yah and find my yah and continue to seek him and find my family, my lost family, my real family. We share the same spirits, my family. They know who they are. They got the same heart, and our heart is like on y'all over everything. That's what most of their posts say. They don't have pictures up, really. But some of us do, because we know we spiritual beings. We spiritual. Now, I said that to say this, that I had to ask the most how to forgive me, because I remember the, the, the vow that I made with the Creator, so... I just want to say that I, I had to. And he showed me it's not about you, Leah. It's all about me. No, no heathens is not going to be touching your vessel, your body. Your body belongs to me. I'm your husband. Daughters of Zion, Yah is your husband. Yah is your king. Yah is your Elohim. Yah loves you. You can't be out here spreading your legs all over my Facebook page or any social media page, okay? That's gross. Nobody wants to see your ass, like I told my daughter when she came from Florida. I said, cover up. Nobody wants to see your ass. And it's very disrespectful to the Most High, and it's disrespectful to me, your mother. Y'all doing a lot of disrespectful stuff out there to the Most High. You're doing a lot of disrespectful shit out there 
That's what y'all doing. Ain't time to time out for talking nice. I ain't no congregation. I don't sit up under no man. I'm going to tell you right now, I sit up under the most high. Yah, the creator, not creation. Those my brethren, and I respect them. But this is my sanctuary right here in my bedroom. And I'm talking out of my lips that Yah gave me. And he, Yah is right in this room with me. So all praises, all honor, and all glory are to the Most High. Get out your feelings. Get, how about this? Get out your fucking feelings. Get out your, go tell your pastor that. I seen a lady all over Facebook crying and cursing people out, the pastor and all. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself for leading those people like that. You should be ashamed. Sister, sister, wherever you are, the sister that was crying on Facebook, oh, sister, inbox me, please, and i help you. Inbox me, sister, please. This is Sister Leah Yehuda Israel. Please, who are that sister that was crying on Facebook and fussing that, that old wicked church out, please inbox me, sister. Please. But um, it's a lot of wickedness going on, and the Most High taking care of that. See that crow croak, that coronavirus and all of that? That's the Most High's uh, sword, and that's his judgment. And if you die like that without repenting to the Most High, you should be ashamed of yourself because you're going to be in trouble when you wake up and you meet your creator. I'm telling you right now. Y'all better wake y'all better wake the fuck up out there. This like the sirens are sound, and I ain't even gonna not gonna curse. If it's on me, it's on me. That's how much I love you. This ain't no game. This ain't no stand up and sit down and walk down the aisle and put on your best suit, your best smile. This ain't that bullshit. This is tears and sweat, work, discipline, soldiers. Happy I bought some boots today with some buckles on them. Praise y'all. I like the sleeping man. Y'all sleeping in these hours. But I remember what I made of I with the most high. And I guess this is what led to it because I was very angry that I couldn't get my massage. And I was so mad already. I couldn't get my sweetest deep tissue massage by some strong fingers all in my back with them rocks. I was very upset. And then my car wouldn't work for about 30 minutes, an hour, an hour almost, they was closing. How embarrassing I was. But that's all right, though. I said, I don't know what this is, y'all. But forgive me, whatever it is. But he just showed me. I'm home now. He showed me. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't ain't nobody going to be touching you. Your husband didn't even touch you, baby. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. No. You was molested and you were raped. As a child, teenager. Okay, but you made it through that too. And your mental status and the most high even preserved your body to this day. Sisters, y'all ought to give the most high all praises right now. Sisters, pray, praise the most high, won't you? Praise, yeah. It's okay, just cover up. Go on, on read Ezekiel 18. You, you can be forgiven by the most high. We ain't going to always be harsh with you. The most high said he ain't going to feel be angry with Israel. He coming to fight for us. I'm not mad at y'all or anything. I'm just saying this to say, come on now. We're ready to go home. I'm ready to go. Let's, it's time to get the fuck out of here for real. I'm ready to go home. Cover up your butts and your boobs. Okay, even to my daughters, cover your tattoos. Nobody don't want to see that. Uh, Deuteronomy 14, read it. The Most High said you shouldn't have those tattoos. That's an abomination. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. You're not supposed to have tattoos, Israel. We are a holy nation unto the Creator. That's sin. Please go repent. Y'all got, we got a lot to repent for. I'm telling you, I know I do. I'm still going on at it. Finding new things to repent for, like tuna fish. Who would have ever thought we weren't supposed to eat tuna fish? I mean, dang, you at Subway anyway, you ain't got no business there, but I'm at Subway buying up them tuna fish sandwiches over there by the courthouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to fall out of there, buying them dang old tuna fish sandwiches up over there by the courthouse. That, oh boy, we done sinned against the Creator, y'all. We in trouble, Israel. This is just real. Whatever you think of me, I don't even care, but I love you, though. And I help you the best way I can. That's just kind of woman I am. I'm a, I'm a lot of other stuff too, they say. Yeah, you know, could be true, could not be true. I'm still growing up, you know. I tell you that. I'm not going to do nothing to hurt you, though. I do nothing to intentionally hurt my people. No, ma'am. No, sir. But anyway, um, I think since I got a little time, can I read, please, to you Isaiah 58? So I can let you know what's behind all of this, what's going on, what we're trying to do, okay? 
Why you saying you don't want to hear it? And be quiet. You don't want to hear that. You're going to be judged by the most high for what come out of your mouth. Whether it be good or bad. I don't know what's coming. But y'all better be quiet and stop talking against the most high's holy name. Y'all going to be losing a lot of people. Keep on talking against the most high. You're going to be slaughtered. Now read Amos 3, 7 so I can let you know who I am and those that are like me, how they speak and talk to you when you see they post. Amos 3, 7 says, Surely Yah, Elohim, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? There are prophets, servants in the earth today. We come to you in the name of the Most High Yah. Yah is the creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all in them is the Most High Yah created. Just read Exodus 20. Your history is right there. Can't you see that this is all a hoax? And now it's time for you to rise and take your brother's hand and your sister's hand along the way. And come on and rise up. You can do it, Israel. Rise up, Israel. Rise up, Israel. Rise up, Israel. You could do it. You could do it. You are a beautiful, beautiful people. I don't care what they say. You could do it, Israel. Rise up. Let's play a let's play a rise up song before we get into Isaiah 58. Okay, and maybe this some maybe this will make you feel like maybe this song will make you feel like you want to rise up, okay? One of my favorites. Yeah. Come on. Hey, listen, Israel, praise ya, praise ya, Israel, oh, Israel, I'm not a singer, I'm just saying, hey, praise ya. I'm in the valley over here in the Natty. Cincinnati, this is the valley. Come on, rise up, Natty. Yeah, poverty. Yeah, yeah. Rise up, y'all. Thank you, y'all, for renewing my strength. I'm feeling better already. We've been down in humility, humility. Oh, so long, yeah. Cover up, y'all. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Liberation. Let's hide. When all nations must be free. Rise and shine. Restore your strength. Israel, you can do it. You can do it, Israel. If this hang up, I'm gonna continue on another video. This is all due to the most high. Did he say your history? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 started the curses 15 through 68 and find out about yourself and why you've been down in poverty. We've been down in a separation. Much too long. Sing it, Elder. We've been down in humiliation. Hey, wait so long. Come up, girls. We've been down. Cry to y'all for your wickedness and repent. You're wicked. We've been down in the segregation. Oh, so long. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. All glory to the mighty Haya. Yes. Where mankind must be born in you. Rise and shine. Rise up, Israel. I need you to turn to Isaiah 60. Read those curses. Read 28. Deuteronomy 28. Read the blessings, but read the curses first so you can understand why the Most High is slaughtering your sons and daughters. Because no one's keeping the law. You said that y'all not watching. You said y'all not abandoned the earth. God, just a loving God, the girl said on the post. God is just a loving God. My God, love. 
Yeah, he loves for you to eat pork. He loves for you to eat shrimp. Your God is wicked, sister. Your God is wicked, sister. That's not the God of Israel, the Holy One of Israel. He has rules. He has laws, statutes, and commandments, sisters. Can't be walking around here showing your stuff. Y'all will kill you. And you can tell how it's Yah. You can get a bullet in your neck, your head. You don't know what the Most High going to do. You can get killed with a rock. Look at all these stories in the news. Yeah, let me move the music. But look at everything that's going on around you. Oh, my gosh. Bluetooth connected. Got to wake up, Israel. You got to wake up, sisters. Got children crying. Wake up, sisters. It's been too long. Too long. Okay, so I just wanted to say this. Uh, before I read any more scriptures, please watch what you say out of your mouth. Do not say anything against the name of Yah, okay? Y A H, Yah, Yahuwah, Yah. Some say Ahaya. But we're not talking about J E S U S U S. We're not talking about Yahshua and all of those other those all of those idols cuz the most high is not an idol. The most high is to be feared. The most high is the holy one, the living one of Israel. But that's how I was moved all the way up here from Miami, Florida all the way to Cincinnati. I've never been here a day in my life. But I praise my creator for setting me on this hill right here, sitting me on this hill and being able to speak to you from my window up here and tell you, like you see the post coming out. Why don't y'all stop acting like y'all? Are y'all that really that blind? And do you really just don't care about fearing the most high? I had to ask my daughter, why do you hate the most high? I mean, what? What is it with y'all? What's going on out there? Why y'all so damn wicked against the most high? What did he do to you? No real talk. What did the most high do to you? Can you put me a can you put a um tag down here? A comment on what the most high did to you that you hate the most high? The creator who, who gives you life. You breathe in his air. You breathe in the most high's air. But this you know, I had to tell my husband these things like this, and it was tough. But he accepted it. When he was down in Florida and I was up here and he's telling me about Mother Nature, I said, Well maybe you shouldn't breathe the most high's air then. You know, that's how serious I am because we have to repent and return back to the, to the laws, statutes, and commandments. Some of us are ready to go home. Some of us hate this place. And we don't give a damn because we ain't going back. We ain't just like when they crossed over that river right here. I hear the Ohio River. They left Kentucky and they didn't want to go back. And Kentucky, I asked the Most High. Huh, the Most High know what I asked him about Kentucky. Yeah, may y'all, y'all, may y'all rest Rihanna's soul. Be merciful, y'all. Oh, our Elohim, please be merciful, y'all. To the whole house of Israel, your judgment is here. And we're saying that y'all see it does not. And y'all has abandoned the earth. And y'all said that I sent my servants out all during 